Good morning. This shortcut makes use of the share menu. So before we get started building it, I'd like to attempt to explain exactly what the share menu is and why it's really cool to use with shortcuts. The share menu is the little box with the up arrow that's found on several Apple applications. And in this instance, it's found in the Apple Photos app. It shows up whenever you select one or more items and it's what you select if you want to share the photos or the videos you've selected. Of course, you can use it to share to an email or to a text message or the included Apple Note share, but using that is a little bit convoluted as it doesn't automatically show you your finished note. It's not easy to select a specific folder to include your note, and it makes it difficult to extract text from media that you may want to include in your note. But luckily we can also share to a shortcut and that's the shortcut we're going to build in this video. Don't forget to check the description below for any updates or corrections that we discover after this video is published. If you'd like to help support this channel, there are several ways to do that. The description includes links to other YouTubers who have inspired me not only with shortcuts, but with photography as well. Please check it out. I picked up a new battery charger for my RV a few weeks ago, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take a few pictures of the receipt and of the unit itself so I could make a note to keep in my phone for future reference. I opened the Photos app and I chose the Select option in the upper right so I could select some of the pictures I took of the receipt, of the charger box, and of the charger itself, and of the instruction sheet. Then I used the shortcut I made called EDC Media to Note to make a note that included those photos. I scrolled down to the bottom of my choices and I edited them so that I could put the EDC Media to Note shortcut right at the top of my favorites to make it handy for future use. Now that we have our shortcut at the top of our favorites, let's go ahead and make a new note that includes our photos of our battery charger and the receipt. Let's not extract text from these. Then I pick the core tag photo to append to the note. And I use the option to extract text from that one particular photo in case it comes in handy later on. Here's how the note came out. So let's get started with the build. Okay, let's get started by opening up our Shortcuts app. We'll go to our folders. I have a folder called EDC Notes Demo. Let's put it in there. We'll hit the upper right plus sign for our new shortcut. Let's go ahead and name it. Okay, let's go ahead and choose an icon. I like to make anything that I do with a share sheet a specific color. So I'll just choose this kind of teal color and then maybe we'll find some media kind of icon here. How about this little camera here? Okay, so let's start with an action and I always like to start out with a comment. So we'll click add action and I already have some favorites that I put in here and I think a comment is down toward the end. There it is. By the way, uh, if you search for an action and you want to put it in favorites, just click the little information thing and click add to favorite like so. Drag and hold that and put it right up at the top. Okay. This share sheet is for sending media to specific notes folders with new or appended options. We include an option to extract text as well. Checklist colon create appropriate folders in the notes application first. Enable the share sheet in the shortcut info section. Edit the shortcut input action to only include images and media. Make sure the shortcut input is formatted as photo media. iOS 17.3.1 February 
2024. All right, so our first checklist item is to create appropriate folders in the notes application first. So let's check that. We'll go to notes. I have a folder called EDC My Notes. And inside of that, I have the two folders that we'll be using for this shortcut, Field Notes and Receipts. So we're all set with that item, checklist item number one. Number two, enable the share sheet in the shortcuts info section. That can be accessed down here with the little circle with the I inside. And we want to show in share sheet. Turn that on. That will allow this shortcut to appear in our photos app. Now, item number three is to edit the shortcut input action. Okay, so when we enable this, it automatically put this input action right at the top of our shortcut. And let's edit it here. We'll click here. We'll clear everything and then we'll add images and media only. And that way it won't show up as an option in applications that don't involve images or media. So now if there is no input, let's send a message in case we run this shortcut on its own accidentally. Click here. We'll say stop and respond. And then let's make our response. This is a share sheet shortcut. Try saying that fast three times. Please run from within the Photos app. Okay, now we're set with that. And we'll do number four as we get further into the shortcut. So first of all, we want to add a action that is a menu. And that menu can say, please choose, how about? Okay, this will allow us to choose either a new note to add our photos or a video to, or to append it to an existing note. So under new, let's put a list there. So I believe we also have that in favorites. We do a list. I'll drag that, make sure it's under the new option. And then let's list the folders that we want to be able to put our photos or media in. So now let's choose from that list and it automatically knew to connect these two actions. We can see by our little line here. We do not want to choose multiple because we only want it to go in one folder or the other and we don't really need a prompt. So I think we're good there. So now it's time to create a note and let's ask every time here and the folder we want to use is the chosen item here and we see it connected it for us and we do not want it to open when run okay so now it's time to put our append actions in here and we'll use find all notes with a word of caution there appears to be a bug in this version of iOS that will crash a shortcut if this finds a note with a tag or with a link to another note. So hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. In the meantime, I just avoid using tags. So we want to find all notes. We want to sort by our last modified date and we want the most recent or the latest one first. Now I like to limit it to just a few notes because usually any appending I'll do would be to a recent note. So I like to make it three. Of course you can make this anything you want. If you don't limit it, it might take an awful long time if you have a lot of notes. So that's one advantage to limiting it. Okay, so now we want to be able to choose which one of these notes we want to use. So we can look back in our favorites. We want to use choose from list here. We'll drop this right here. And it automatically connected for us. And we do not want to select multiple. So we're good there. And then 
we want a pin to this chosen note. And like last time, to our note, it connected the line append to notes. All right, we're moving right along. Now we want to be able to put our shortcut input, which would be our photos and stuff to whatever we're doing here, whether it be a new note or a pended note. So let's go ahead and append again. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to click on this left hand icon and copy this. Then I'm going to cl click on the end menu and paste that below. And what I want to append here is the current date. So we'll go ahead and choose current date and I'm going to click on it so I can format it. I want the date format to be short and I like the time format to be medium. Okay. And then I like to add just a little separator and I want to append to the menu result. So if, whether we chose a new note or an appended note will append to that menu result. So I'll click and hold there. And then instead of notes, I'll select menu result. All right. So now it's time to append our pictures. So I am going to do the same trick. I am going to click on here and I'm going to say paste below because we had already copied our append action the last time. So Let's click and hold here and let's choose shortcut input. And then we want to append it to the already appended note. So let's hold down on this and choose appended note. So we append the current date and a little separator to the menu result. Then to that, we append our shortcut input. And here's where we want to check to make sure if it's formatted correctly. So I'll click it and we see that it is formatted to type photo media and this top box is checked. So we're good to go there. All right, so now let's add another menu action to see if we want to extract text. So it's suggesting that we can choose from menu. So I'm gonna just take advantage of that and drag it right there. And then we'll use extract text as a prompt. Okay, so under yes, let's find our extract text. I don't think that's in the favorites, so let's search for that. Extract text. Here we are. We'll put that right here, and we're going to extract it from the shortcut input. There we are. And then, of course, we're going to have to append that. So let's go up here and grab another append and copy it. Okay. So I'm just going to clear that variable and I like to put the little separator here and then maybe a label. Let's just say extracted text colon. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we append the text from the image. So we'll click right there. And it happens to be the first thing to select. Let's put a return there just for safety. Okay, to appended note. I always like whenever it's in a menu situation, I always like to verify that it's the correct appended note. So I'm going to click and hold, and then I'm going to say select variable. And now I can go up here and make sure it's this appended note. So that appended note I selected was this note right here, which was the last thing we did before we asked if we're extracting text. Okay, so now if we don't want to extract text, let's leave a message. 
let's just go ahead and paste that to pen and say something like clear this variable and we'll just say and again let's click and hold this to select the variable come up here to our appended note before our menu and select that one okay so we have something under both options for extracting text we want to end our menu now it's time to review our note so I always like to put a show folder here that kind of gets the notes app in the right mode as it were so I'll just click and hold that and I like to have it just show the all iCloud folder kind of takes it all the way back to the top and then we want to open our note we'll just grab this and put it under here and the note we want to open is the result of this menu so we click and hold come up to our variables and we say menu result all that's left to do is stop the shortcut so with any luck we're all set to go and what I'll do is I'll run it from here and we should get our little message that says not to run it on its own so let's check that this is a share sheet shortcut please run from within the photos app alright so far so good so let's close it and we see that it is right here and because we enabled it in the share sheet when we open our photos app we should see it so let's go to photos and let's select some photos here and we'll click our share sheet and we want to find EDC media to note demo we can come down here and edit our actions and we can find that and hit plus and then we can drag it all the way up to the top this isn't absolutely necessary but it just makes it nice to have it right at the top of your favorites so when um, you come back it's right there to select so let's go ahead and click that we'll say new note we'll put it in our receipts we'll give it a name Okay. it'll give you a security check let's not extract text this time go past our security checks and there is our note and we see we have our little separators that I like not necessary but I just think it makes it cleaner to read and let's make sure what folder it put it in and it looks like it put it in EDC receipts which is exactly where we wanted to put it alright so we can go back to our photos now let's deselect these let's select this little cord tag run this again and then let's append it and that's our most recent note and on this one let's go ahead and extract text clear our security and it should have appended it right to the bottom it did and there's the extracted text okay it looks like everything works I hope this helps we'll see you on the next one bye for now